canned or ready to drink beverages are really having a moment right now. Why do you think shoppers are so drawn to this new category? Uh, well, I actually recently read an article about that. So I think it was last year when the sales of canned spirits had grown about 200% within the last year. So they're really exploding. But I think what makes that is the portability and the easiness of the cans. So, you know, people go to the park, it's much easier to bring a can or a six pack of cans with you than glass bottles. And it's also more ecological than bottles and easier and faster to make cold and it's lighter. So there's I think the quick answer to that question is just that it's easier and more comfortable. So long drink is not technically a canned cocktail, but it is a canned beverage. So how do you guys differentiate your product from the rest of the pack? Yeah, we really try to differentiate it from the canned cocktails out there. I know that a lot of people call it a canned cocktail, but we try to always correct them. So for me, a canned cocktail is a gin and tonic in a can or a margarita or whatever Paloma in a can. Uh, whereas long drink is a completely own category in Finland, as we talked before. And for a bartender, it's easy to make a gin and tonic or a margarita. It's hard for them to make a, a long drink and you can't really replicate that. So more than 50% of our sales currently come from on-premise sales, so from bars and liquor stores. Whereas with traditional canned cocktails, majority of their sales comes from the, from the off-premise sales. Where could I go out and get a long drink right now? How many markets are you selling the product in? Uh, right now we are in four markets. Next week we're opening our fifth market. So right now we are in New York, Connecticut, Georgia, Nevada, and starting next week, New Jersey. And there's a lot of cool places where you can go and get one. So for example, Madison Square Garden, Tao Group has it uh, in New York, House of Yes. If you go to Vegas, there's a bunch of nice casinos that sell it like Palms and the Cosmopolitan. It's a, it's a fun mix of different, different kind of places. So we have about 1500 locations currently and uh, pretty much 50-50 between on and off premise. So getting the word out there slowly and steadily. Sakura, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on Retail Untapped. You're out there on the front lines of the industry. So what predictions or parting advice do you have for our audience? Uh, well, I don't know of advice, but my prediction would be that the canned spirits, they will keep growing as fast as they have. Uh, just seeing the market out there, that's what it definitely looks like. I think it's even growing faster than last year. We are really lucky to be at the market at the right time. So when you're looking at this video, please go out there and try a long drink. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Evan. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.